With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, the question is two particles A and B have same mass m is moving a is moving along the x axis with a speed of 5 meter per second and b is at rest after undergoing a perfectly elastic collision with b particle a gets scattered through an angle of 60 degree what is the direction of b so we have to calculate the angle for b that is angle of recoil and the speed of particle a and b after collision the particle a was initially traveling with u1 is equals to 5 meter per second and b was at rest so u2 is 0 and after collision the particle a moves at an angle of 60 degree that is angle of scattering that is theta is equals to 60 degree with the velocity of v1 let it be v1 and we have to calculate this angle that is angle of recoil phi and let the speed of b is v2 after collision and we know the relation that in perfectly elastic collision perfectly elastic collision the angle of recoil plus angle of scattering that is theta plus phi is equals to 90 degree so using this relation we can easily calculate phi that is 90 minus theta and this is 90 minus 60 is 30 degree. So we have calculated the direction of V that is uh, particle B will recoil at an angle of 30 degree with the x axis. Now we have to calculate the speed of A and B. To calculate this we must apply the conservation laws. Conservation laws. Again, in perfectly elastic collision, we can conserve the momentum and the kinetic energy and the total energy. First of all, let us conserve the linear momentum that is P initial is equals to P final and in direction X. Momentum of particle A is M U1 plus M U2 for B particle and the final momentum is m v1 plus m v2 now i think m m will be cancelled from the whole equation so u1 was 5 meter per second initially plus u2 was at rest and now v1 v1 is x now see v1 is this is v1 cos theta in x direction for the particle a after collision and this is v2 cos phi for the b particle so this is v1 is simply v1 cos theta plus v2 cos phi now substitute the values 5 is equals to 60 cos 60 is 1 by 2 plus v2 cos 35 is 30 that we have calculated so this is root 3 by 2 now we simply multiply it by all the whole equation by 2 so this is v1 plus root 3 v2 is equals to 5 let it be the equation number 1 and now let's conserve the momentum in y direction which is initially the uh, particle a was moving in x direction so I think if I write this as PA plus PB initial is equals to PA plus PB final and PA initial was 0 since there was no velocity in y direction and B was again at rest so the initial momentum is 0 in y direction and in y direction the final momentum will be see here the velocity will be v1 sin 60 degree and in this direction this will be v2 cos 
sorry this is v2 sin 30 degree okay this is v1 sin 60 degree plus now v2 is in uh, negative uh, y direction so this is minus v2 sin 30 degree so i uh, equate these v1 is equal to sin 60 is root 3 by 2 is equal to this minus will be get plus on the left side this is v2 sin 30 is half so this half is cancelled by this so v2 comes out to be v2 is equal to root 3 of v1 so this is equation number 2 and if I substitute equation number 2 in first from first we have v1 plus root 3 times of v2 and v2 is root 3 times of v1 is equal to 5 so v1 will be this is 3 root 3 and this will be 4 v1 is equal to 5 so v1 is going to be 5 by 4 and now if I calculate v2 v2 will be root 3 times of v1 so this is 5 root 3 by 4 so v2 is 5 root 3 by 4 ok so the final answer is v1 is 5 by 4 v2 is 5 root 3 by 4 and the angle of recoil that is 5 is going to be 30 degree thank you for class 6 to 12 ITG and NEET level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today